Felder. Good day. Who do I have in the studio today? This is Victoria Justice speaking. Well, thank you so much for joining us, Victoria Justice. I want to <laughs> let my listening audience know that I had the great pleasure to talk to Miss New Title. I'm going to call her Eye Candy. <laughs> <laughs> thank I you. That was, I, well, it fits you very well. You're very beautiful. Oh, um, thank you. Um, well, uh, I'm really excited about, about this new show. Um, I feel like it's definitely more grown up. You know, I'm 21 years old now, so I feel like it's appropriate for me to be playing this character and to be a part of the show. It's something that is, um, it's a cyber thriller drama, and um, I play a girl named Lindy Sampson who is a highly skilled computer hacker, and my sister goes missing in the first episode. She gets abducted before my very eyes, and um, I make it my life's mission to find my sister and to also help find other missing people. But um, there's, a, there's a twist in my plans because there's a serial killer on the loose in Manhattan, and I have potentially gone on, a, an, on, on an online date with one of them. And so it, became, it becomes this really creepy game of, of cat and mouse. And um, the show is very, it's much more mature than anything I've ever done. And it's, it's very sexy at times, but also very, um, very suspenseful. And there's lots of action. I got to do a lot of my own stunts. And um, I, think, I think if people watch it, they'll be surprised at at how it is more grown up for me, I guess you could say, and I think they'll, I think they'll really like it. I'm very proud of it. Is this, and and I, I haven't seen everything on TV, but is this the first time that a very young person has done a detective show that's really found any found a place among audiences? Because most of the times the women are more mature, uh, not older, but just more mature. Right. When they do detective roles, I think this is the the first really young one. I feel like it is too. I mean, I can't think of any other shows. It's, um, yeah, I mean, it definitely has, some of the episodes have kind of a s younger CSI element to it, I would say. Um, because, you know, throughout the whole first season, my mission is, is to, to find my sister and to also find out who this serial killer is who is, like, ruining my life, basically. Um, but there's also standalone episodes where the, the serial killer storyline is kind of put on pause for a second, and I join the cyber crimes unit, um, and I, I help them and kind of serve my, do my own style of justice and with my hacking and, and my skills in that way to um, solve other mysteries and weird crimes. So um, it's really cool because it it's very, the storyline is very relevant to what's going on right now, I mean, with all the hacking and everything. But not only that, it's... Um, we live in such a tech-centric world, and I think it's really cool to explore that in our show. And there's there are lots of really cool storylines involving social media, and you know, even equipment in, in a hospital is hackable, and and you could be in a car and someone could hack into it. These are all things that we kind of have incorporated, and it's been really interesting and really different and fun. No, I think this is really good. It's it's very pop culture. It's very, as you said, very now, very happening now, and I. I I think that's going to be the draw about it because we'll be able to see our everyday devices in there. Like you said, things in the hospital, uh, phones that we're using. We'll see those everyday devices, and we'll be able to relate. But because it's done for MTV, I know it's done for today's audience. So you're at the perfect time. It's, it's called, a, I call it confluence, when all things come together. Mm. This is the perfect time for you to do uh, eye candy. I feel like it's the perfect time, too, you know? I feel like it was... Um... I feel like it's the right next step for me and kind of the natural progression of things. I think a lot of the fans that I have from from being on Nickelodeon have grown up with me and are ready to see me in a role like this. And, you know, obviously um, hope to gain a, a new audience and, and for older other people to to be aware of, of the show as well. So it's um it's been really cool. Well, I've got something. Uh, we're connected with Facebook, Facebook, and I've got this for you. Uh, I okay. can't wait to see the clothes that you're wearing. Okay. Aww. <laughs> ah, so are you gonna wear? I'm sure you're gonna wear today's clothes, cool clothes, you know. And look um, at what people are looking at. They want to see the clothes you're wearing. They want to see the devices. Yeah, the clothes on the show. Our wardrobe. Um, people did an amazing job. The clothes are so cool. They're very. Like, for my character, Lindy, she's much more understated. Um, 
so she's like New York street chic, but also kind of like utilitarian in a way. And um, everything that she wears is a little bit like tough and, and has some sort of function that works with what she does. But uh, so I wear like lots of like leather jackets with like these cool like gloves connected to it. Um, and you know, the, the wardrobe is awesome. I really love it. It's, it's and well, like a lot of, not a lot of unvictorious. I was like very glammed up and I wore like lots of bright colors and high heels and that sort of thing. And, um, this is much more real life. I have a lot less makeup on and, um, just very much understated. Well, I think that's the kind of audience you're going to pull in Victoria Justice. I'm so excited for you. When do you want us to watch you on MTV? Thank on you. On iCandy? iCandy is on... When do you on, want us to watch us? It's on MTV um, Mondays at 10, 9 central. Well, I think you're going to have a whole new legion of fans as you've gone into this very adult role. I wish you the best that life has to offer. You're going to have to come back after your second, third season and tell me how great life is. Oh, fingers crossed. I would love to. Thank you so much. Thank you, Victoria Justice. Bye for now. Bye.